Welcome to Future Human Science. Today, we're venturing into the cosmos to explore the science behind space travel, specifically how we can get to Mars. From rocket propulsion to the challenges of long-duration spaceflight, we'll break down the complexities of traveling to the Red Planet. Buckle up as we embark on this interplanetary journey. Traveling to Mars involves a combination of advanced technology, meticulous planning, and a deep understanding of space science. To get to Mars, we need to consider several critical factors, including spacecraft design, propulsion systems, and life support systems. First, let's talk about spacecraft design. A spacecraft traveling to Mars must be able to withstand the harsh conditions of space, including extreme temperatures, radiation, and microgravity. Engineers design spacecraft with robust materials and shielding to protect the crew and equipment. The spacecraft must also have sufficient space for living quarters, laboratories, and storage for supplies. Propulsion is another key aspect of space travel. Traditional rockets use chemical propulsion, which relies on the combustion of fuel to generate thrust. For missions to Mars, rockets must achieve high velocities to escape Earth's gravity and travel the vast distance to the Red Planet. Currently, the most commonly used propulsion systems are chemical rockets, such as the SpaceX Falcon Heavy or NASA's Space Launch System (SLS). However, chemical rockets have limitations in terms of efficiency and speed. To overcome these challenges, scientists are exploring advanced propulsion technologies. One promising approach is nuclear thermal propulsion which uses a nuclear reactor to heat a propellant, such as hydrogen, to high temperatures. This heated propellant is then expelled through a rocket nozzle, producing thrust. Nuclear thermal propulsion has the potential to reduce travel time to Mars and increase payload capacity. Another advanced propulsion concept is ion propulsion. Ion thrusters use electric fields to accelerate ions to high velocities, creating thrust. Although ion thrusters provide lower thrust compared to chemical rockets, they are highly efficient and can operate for extended periods. This efficiency makes them suitable for deep space missions where fuel efficiency is crucial. The journey to Mars also requires precise timing and navigation. Mars and Earth are in constant motion around the Sun, so spacecraft must be launched at specific windows known as launch windows. These windows occur approximately every 26 months when Earth and Mars are optimally aligned for the shortest and most efficient journey. During the mission, spacecraft use a combination of onboard sensors and ground-based tracking to navigate and adjust their trajectory. Life support systems are crucial for ensuring the safety and well-being of astronauts during the journey. These systems must provide adequate oxygen, remove carbon dioxide, manage waste, and regulate temperature and humidity. Additionally, astronauts will need to be protected from cosmic radiation, which poses a significant risk over long-duration space missions. Solutions include using shielding materials and designing spacecraft to minimize radiation exposure. Upon arrival at Mars, landing is another complex challenge. Mars has a thin atmosphere, which makes traditional aerobraking techniques less effective. Spacecraft must use a combination of aerodynamic surfaces, such as parachutes and retro rockets to slow down and land safely. NASA's Mars rovers, such as Curiosity and Perseverance, have demonstrated successful landing techniques, providing valuable insights for future crewed missions. Exploration of Mars also requires reliable communication systems to transmit data between the spacecraft and mission control on Earth. Due to the vast distance between the two planets, communication signals can take several minutes to travel. This delay necessitates autonomous systems on the spacecraft to handle tasks and make decisions in real time. 
Looking ahead, human missions to Mars will pave the way for further exploration and potential colonization. These missions will involve developing sustainable habitats, conducting scientific research, and testing new technologies for living and working on the Red Planet. The knowledge gained from these missions will be instrumental in advancing our understanding of Mars and our ability to explore other planets in the solar system. If you enjoyed this exploration of the science behind traveling to Mars and want to stay updated on the latest advancements in space exploration, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. We'd love to hear your thoughts on space travel. What aspect of Mars missions excites you the most? Share your comments below. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the science of space travel. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of science and technology.